What's up, y'all? You're hanging out with Yaya today, and we're watching Untapped Hip Hop TV. <laughs> Get up, get out, and do something about it. Gotta do something. Because they want you to forget about it. Yo, what up? It's Phantom Threat. We are here at Serious Cartoons. And uh, this is episode, uh, I don't know what number it is. Two? One? Two. Let's dig. Yeah. That's the most important part. We're gonna start with Horace Arnold. Tales of the Exonerated Flea. Now, number one, that album name alone is enough to just Tales of the Exonerated Flea. So what is that about? I guess you'll find out more with the music. We're gonna start with Benzelay Windows. Crazy shit. And that, my friends, is hip hop. <laughs> what is it about this album that y'all that y'all was going to? You was going there, right there, though. Oh, John, what, what were you liking about it? That was amazing. I mean, I mean, first, first of all, I think the tempo is something that really caught my attention. First off, um, just I think that the tempo of the drums and really the way the flutes coincided with that, you know, it really does something to you. It puts you in the mind of a fight of the bumblebee type thing, mm. which is very, which is similar to the, to the title, you know, the exonerated flea. So yeah, I mean, it was amazing. It's almost yeah. beyond words in some sense. Man. Now we got uh, Yesterday's by Gato Barbieri. Uh, this album came out in 1974 on Flying Dutchman. Um, Great label, by the way. We're gonna play the title track Yesterday's, or at least a snippet of it. Um, there's something magical about uh, the way this song just starts off, man. It's like a spell, really.
That shit starts off sexy. Yeah. That's the way it starts, wow. man. Yeah. All right, man. What made you choose this one? Uh, well, this album, um, when I found it, it's always the artwork that draws me in first, you know. And then I look at the, uh, you know, I mean, the the players, you know, what mm -hmm. I mean, the instruments being played, the year it came out. And if it makes sense, you know, any any particular it lands in my hands. Right? Any particular players on there that you was? Well, yeah, uh, we got. Gato Barbieri on tenor sax, uh, Ron Carter on bass, Pretty Purdy, Bernard Purdy on drums, and uh, what's what else is there? After that? <laughs> what were you digging about it, John? Man, um, I mean, it just takes me back to some because my first introduction to Gato was probably my mother, mm. who had um, a Mango Santa Maria record of Gato's last tango in Paris, and Mango was redoing it, but just. Um, there's something about got those compositions that just They put you in a different place. It's almost like time stops. Mm. They put you in a you know um, it Looked like he was there when I was uh, when you was listening to it though. I mean, I came a back. Different place, right? Like, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just something about those those tones that just do something to you You know, I mean funky dark Melodic funky tones that bring you into a new, a new galaxy kind of mm -hmm. like our sunrise explains, you know going to Mars, <laughs> you know yeah, right. Anything happy, sad is addictive. It's crazy. Yeah, that's right. Good, that's the best way to it's say like, it. Was it like a chocolate and salt or something? How yeah. you get the sweet and salty? Yeah. Right. yeah. Wow. Yin and yang, really. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, what? what is a solid? Is there such thing as a solid? Or is everything a combination of multiplicity? That. <laughs> so, <laughs> <whoo>. <laughs> that. <laughs> that record, like. <laughs> what we got going on? What record is this? Curtis Mayfield. We the people are darker than me. We people who are darker than blue.
So you, Salute to the greatest, man, Curtis Mayfield. So you said uh, earlier today you like moments in time. What is it about this oh, yeah. moment? I'm, I'm not really a fan of albums in, in a whole, more so moments of records. What of is it about the moment in this record? It's that powerful, man. It almost brings you to tears, like the, the horn section. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those, and like several people have sampled that shit, like, you know, but it's... It's something about hearing the original that just, woo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's otherworldly, you know? And then, I, and I'm, did Curtis arrange this track? Um, I see this album doesn't have the jacket, but. Not the jacket, okay. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did, right. Because with, because that's what a transition is only something that he would do. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. Shit is my, nuts. It just felt like, like an orchestra, you know what I mean? Like he was in front of an orchestra singing all that, right? So like. Yeah. Like you said, it was powerful. Like yes. just how he how he put that together, man. Right. Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> it's some, I mean, it's, it's something. Once again, it's something amazing about art like that. It's like, well, what's the most beautiful thing is how the elements interconnect. Mm. Because if you go looking and trying to find exactly what's moving you, you'll never find it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it's something about the multiplicity that coalesces and tracks like that. Like that shit is crazy, man. I was dope though, man. Yeah. I Good was dope. Yeah, man. I'm, can't wait to do it again next hey. time on Let's Dig. <laughs> SC, out. Serious cards. We're not really in San Bernardino. We're actually floating around the galaxies. We're actually in Andromeda right now. Yes, sir. So we'll, we'll come back. Once you walk in, you know what we're talking about. It's the, it's the 25th hour record store. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Always respect, untapped. Hey. Always.